Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Nico. And today we're doing some more Happy Home Paradise tours with Mari. Let's head on over here. Bring up the Nook phone. And let's see which vacation homes Mario's going to be touring today. Last time... I believe he visited Goldie, Eon, and Renee. So this time we will visit Pate. He's got Wired Cafe, Ty Balt, Slugger's Dugout, and Etole, home for handicrafts. Stitches. We will have his video coming up. It's, it's all, re I recorded his build. So I will actually be posting that in the future. So let's select Pate. He's got a one floor and he's wired cafe. I believe, yes, these are probably vacation homes I, I just just hopped on and did quick builds with it just to get more vacation homes done. It's a Mario time! And here we are. There's Pat Taste. And of course, there's nothing outside. Mm. No decorations at all. Mamma mia! So, this might be a revisit. Perhaps Mario will help decide what to go on the outside. But, eh, he concentrated more on the interior. Now, my vision was pate. He was, like, doing, like, a... Like an internet cafe. And you, as you can see, all the plenty of seatings over here. He's got plenty of seatings there for people to come and use the computers. And he's also got his main, his own private computer. And of course, you gotta have the bathroom. Mm, oh, pizzas hot coffee plenty of lightings and of course security cam just in case you get some of those rowdy people exit sign hmm. one safety feature missing is the smoke alarm the horror should be right over here and it's not there it's another thing we'll have to do the interior didn't turn out too bad it's pretty simple he's got all of these computers for his customers to use and it's got like a little cafe here we've got the bars and coffee frozen drinks food in the refrigerator so he could cook and of course he probably cooks pizza thankfully as you can see in this kitchen, this little kitchen, there is no chef mic. He doesn't microwave anything. Hello? I don't know how we cook. I don't know how you cook the pizzas. Is you don't have a pizza oven. We'll have to. Or an even an oven oven. We just got the stove. But we will have to look into changing that around too. Okie dokie. Who knows how long, how long these pizzas have been sitting. They do look like they're fresh. They're still piping hot. Well, thanks, Pate, for letting us see your internet cafe. And we will head outside, hop on the phone again, and go to our next vacation home. We definitely will have to come back here and do some work. In. 
our next vacation home is Tybalt and his a Slugger's Dugout. I do believe, if my memory is correct, I did a little bit more for his home. Not much on the inside. Let's I go! Believe the outside has been done, yes. Here's Tyball's vacation home, and outside, he's got his own, well, you could say, field of dreams. What's the porter potty doing on the field? See, here's the, here's the baseball field. There's people on side on one team on this side, and the other team on the baseball bat. It's why is the porta potty on first base? And of course, all the equipment can go in there, and we got the big lighting, the lights. I wonder if no, we can't change it tonight. So, well, we found one thing that we need to fix. Yes, the porta potty's got to be put in its proper place. I don't know how. I don't remember putting it there, but it's there. Well, let's head on in the interior into the clubhouse. At least that's what we'll call it. And this is Ty Bolts. Oh. And of course, we got his uniform. He's a catcher. His helmet. Drink, drink machine. In case he gets thirsty. Got an own, his own bed. Because he had to have a bed. Some place to sleep and relax after games. No place to cook things, anyway. And no kitchen or anything like that. We'll make a mental note to put up a second floor so we can have a, like a kitchen area and perhaps maybe a bedroom upstairs. He's got another porta potty inside and he's got his gym bag and he's got his his exercise equipment and the crowd cheering him on and of course baseball seats and baseball helmet table. Oh, thanks, Tybalt, for letting Mario tour your home. And we're going to head on out and head to our last vacation home that we're going to tour. We'll have to remember to come back here and fix fix some of these things up. I don't know why Tybalt moved the porta potty to first base. Here we are. We're going to go to Etoile. She's one of the Sanrio characters, and she had to be called in, I believe. Because I don't think. I'm pretty sure that she, they, she doesn't visit it, just visits the island. I do have her amiibo card. Thanks for letting us visit. Let's see, she's got her own, you know, not much in the way of outdoors decorations, just, uh, just the fencing, so we'll head on inside. This is probably another just simple build, I had her amiibo card, scanned it in, and just placed things around, made it a little... A little area. She's got a little dog. She's got some of her some of her stuff. She's got a bed. Little twin stars. Places where she can make plushies. Places for her clothes. And all the decorations. Pretty simple build. 
he may come back and do a remodel on this this house for her so she has a little bit more room she seems to enjoy her dog she seems quite happy with her vacation home right Mario yes yes it was a quick build we did it really fast and just for something to do. Let's head back outside and we will call the tours done for today. Quick little tours. I'd like to thank Ed Pillay. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably ashing up her name terribly. And all the other villagers letting Mario visit their homes. And perhaps we'll make a checklist of stuff that can be redone for at Mario. We'll do some remodeling. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you all next time for more Mario's Tours Vacation Homes. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Both of those help the channel immensely and don't cost you a dime. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.